Hello friends, welcome back. I'm Faraz and in today's Excel video, we will learn how to convert the dates into monthly periods in Power Query. So let's assume that you have this data set over here where you have a start and you have an end date. And you would just like to build that data structure into this format. Maybe you just need to do some kind of a reporting structure or something and you would need this thing uh, into this format. Now, uh, we will do this thing with the help of the Power Query. So I'll be doing it on the Mac and the similar process goes for the Windows as well. So let's do it together. So first thing what we need to do is that we need to convert your data set into Excel table. So I'm going to press Command T and Control T for Windows. So that will make my data into Excel table. Now I'll go to data, get data and I will say a blank query. Now in Windows, you already have an option right click and get data from table slash range. But in Power Query in Mac currently that is not supported. So what you will do is over here that you're going to say that simple Excel dot current workbook. And that's a simple one line code. You'll write it next. As soon as you hit the next, you will see the data tables which is there is already loaded into the query editor. Now what you need to do is you can just click it and expand that table and you can see already that is change type step which is applied. Now you'll select the start and the end date and you're going to just transform it into a proper date, just a date, not with the numbers and you can just do it in the replace in the current step and that's how it is done. Now what had happened over here it is not a date so let's do it back again so i just selected the entire uh, columns so that's the reason it has given me an error so this is a date now these dates what we need to do is the start date we need to always make sure that it's the beginning of the month so let's go dates and the month it's always the start of the month and similar way we go again date over here month and it's always the end of the month now when we get these two numbers what we're going to do is that we're going to convert it into a whole number now why we are doing this i'll just quickly tell you now so all we need to do is go and add column go to custom column and we're going to say the list okay so what we're going to do is basically we're going to create the list starting from this range to this range okay so what we will call is that a curly brackets open the start dot dot and the end so whatever comes between start to end date that is the list what we need to convert and if you come over here and if you see the dates has been converted over here now let's go and expand and as soon as you expand this list you see now all the dates are over here so we don't need these two columns at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to just remove them or let's remove it later on for the timing. Let's keep it over here. And uh, this one, what we will do is we will call this as a, a proper date. So as you can see, we got the date over here and then we're going to add some columns. Let's say that we wanted to go and extract the, the month from this one. Okay, basically we wanted to get the month. Okay, so let's go and go to the year. Okay, so first let's get the year and then again select this column and let's go and bring the name of the month. So name of the month which is over here and we just need to get only the first three letters. So let's go and extract the first three characters over here and this is how we got the name of the month and the year. So let's go and merge them. So I'll just select the first character, which is the Jan and the year, and I'll say the merge. And I'm going to use custom just by putting a dash, and I will call this as period. So we are done so far, and what we will do is that we'll just select all this, and we're going to say that. Uh, remove the columns so we need only these two columns and now once we select these two columns we're going to come to home 
and we will say that remove the duplicate rows so you got your data set over here now simply what we're going to do is we're going to call this as a result and let's close and load voila our data is already loaded over here as you can see and uh, this is really awesome so let's go and try to add some more uh, information so let's call for us and this will be also from this date to same date range let's come here right click and refresh perfect so that's how easily you can build your solution using power query to convert your dates into monthly periods so i hope my friends you have enjoyed this video so make sure that you hit the like button share this video and subscribe to my channel and i'll be seeing you soon in my next video till then take care happy learning bye